So the kind of training that we do to get mission ready is, first of all, we learn all about the systems of the International Space Station. Now, what that's like is you're learning how to drive a car, and before you get behind the wheel and start steering it and pushing the gas pedal, you have to learn all about the engine. You have to learn about how the system that cools it runs throughout the engine. You have to learn how everything is connected together, and oh, if something breaks, how to fix it. So that's what it's like to learn all about the systems on board the International Space Station. But once you learn all about the systems, then you have to learn about what to do uh, in case of an emergency. Something goes wrong, really wrong. And not only how are you going to respond, but how are you going to respond with the other people that you're living on board with. It takes teamwork, so you got to learn teamwork. You also have to learn how to do some experiments because why do we have the International Space Station? It's so that we can learn science and exploration, all sorts of things that uh, help make this world go around and get us beyond this world. So there's a lot you got to learn there. Lots of different experiments, a lot of um, uh, pieces of equipment that you put together and, and, and what exactly the experiment's going to do and how's it going to benefit mankind. Lots of stuff to learn there. You get to travel all around the world because this is the International Space Station. So we go not just inside the United States, but we also go to Canada, we go to Russia, we go to Germany, we go to Japan. And um, that takes some time going around the world. And uh, you just learn all about uh, the, um, the way to operate in space. We also learn how to uh, perform spacewalks. That's where people go out in the big puffy white suits and if there's a problem outside of the space station in the vacuum of space and the, and the, uh, the um, uh, what do you, how would you describe the uh, environment of outer space? It's not very forgiving. You have to learn how to work in that environment. So we spend a whole lot of time training for uh, those kind of events as well as how to operate a robotic arm. We've got a few robotic arms on the uh, International Space Station. We, they are mostly outside the space station. We use those to move. They're pretty much like a big crane. Uh, you know, when you pass a construction site and there's tractors and uh, they're using, uh, there's people that are driving tractors and, and operating things with ar movable arms and they grasp things and move them around. That is uh, pretty much what it's like to be a robotic arm operator. And so, as you can imagine, there's a lot of work that is uh, uh, takes place in, in order to teach someone how to do that and make sure they do it safely and most of all effectively. So, um, it's just a little sample of some of the things you do to train for a mission.